This is the second video uh, where we've imported two tables and we'll go ahead now and link them in Access 2016. So our two tables can be seen here or accessed from the top tabs. All right, now you can see the different sets of data in here. Let's go and link the tables straight away. So if we go into database tools, there's this wonderful uh, f function of access. It's been here since the very old days of access to, and uh, it allows you to graphically see what's going on. Now we have a primary key, which is unique. And so, and then all the other fields uh, for both of these tables. I know that company name exists in this table so I'm just dragging across to company and I want to enforce a referential link. Now they can't be uh, done right at the moment because we have both those tables open. So let's close them over here and table calls let's close that over here. Yep. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller so that we can zoom in and see it more clearly. Probably about that size. Okay, let's try that again. And database tools, uh, relationships. Where's it? Oh, we're in the relationships page. It's here. Okay, here we go. Company to company and enforce the referential integrity create and we've got a one to many link there will only be one company but it can appear many times in the call log now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that again once more so we want to delete that I'm just going to go into the company ta the call table and I'm going to deliberately make a typo in secondary college. Okay, we'll close that table and we'll go back now into the relationship. Notice that you don't have to push save. The minute you come out of that record, it automatically saves. Now I'm going to try and create this record again and again try and create the referential integrity. This time I don't think it's going to work. Aha! We can't create this relationship and enforce the referential integrity. Data in table calls violates referential integrity rules. In other words, there is a piece of, there is a company in the call database which does not match the companies in the company database. Okay, so we'll can't, well, let's just uncheck that and we will be able to create a link. Now, many people create a link like that and they think that that's fine. So we can go back into the calls table now and we could muck up records all the time and it will let us. But what happens if we, so I'm going to leave that relationship like that without the referential integrity. Now let's look here. We've got either open or closed. I could create a new table. So create table and this table could have simply open or now I don't want to go there I want to go here closed so it uh, let's save that and we're going to call it TBL status sorry table status okay now at the moment it's got this ID column. We're not going to need that because we've just got open or closed. So let's go into the design view and let's delete. You'll notice that at the moment that's the primary key, which is the default. So I'm going to delete that. And yes, it's saying, you know, do we want to delete the primary key? That's a big deal. Uh, yeah, we do. So I'm going to call this status underscore ID. So I've actually got ID in the name because it will be the ID for this table. Let's close that. Oh, well, let's just have a look at that first. 
Yes, we're going to save the table. And here's our table. It's just got the one field with two records. And we'll close that. We'll go into our relationships. Uh, ex uh, relationships are already open here. I can right click, show tables. There's my table status. I'm going to double click. Here it is. Close this. Now, I hope to make a uh, a uh, referential link with this here. Whoa, 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 it's chasing around. Where's status gone? Status is there. Whoa, it's a bit hard to catch. There we go. Status, come on, where are you? There, uh, status. Oh. I tell you what. Status priority, no, that's no good. Let's make this a bit bigger. And then we should have no trouble. Status with status. Okay, status ID with the field status. Let's enforce referential integrity and create. Oh, it's not happy. Um, it's already in use, so we have to go fix that one. Remember that one from before, table calls, close it. All right, let's try it again. I think we're still going to have a problem. Enforce, create, and it's not happy because we have not got an index in our primary table. Which is the primary table? It's the table which has just a few records. It's the one table. Now that's true. If I go here to the design view, this is not a primary key. But if I click on primary key, and save let's open it and it'll force us to save it's now primary key uh, just check that again it's primary key because it's got that key beside it that means it has to be unique and uh, searchable and it creates a special index so even if you've got millions of records it searches very fast now let's try this again into status enforce referential uh, integrity create okay now let's go back into table calls and let's try and see so it's already it's not case sensitive because it's allowed this one to stay with a lowercase o and it's happy with that but what about if I were to spell it incorrectly oh it will not let me do that because there is no record in our primary table which is OPENE. -E. So it enforces us to have valid data in this field. Now I could do the same thing and create a table priority which has low, medium, high and that could be an exercise for you. Let's just go take one look again at our relationships table. Uh, we still haven't got this referential, so let's fix that. Let's go into table calls once more, and let's fix up the spelling here, and make that table. Now we have to close this, because otherwise it's not happy. Let's double click on that, and enforce the referential integrity, and now we have two linked tables uh, and if I were to go into uh, calls now and misspell this tab lets me out of that field into the next field but it won't let me out of the record it'll say no you can't have that name now in the next video we'll create a form with a drop down and so there's no way we can put dud data into this table. That's enough for now.